66 million years ago, Earth had a very bad day. In the skies above what is now Mexico, a mountain-sized rock nearly six miles wide came screaming through the atmosphere at over 40,000 miles per hour. In less than a heartbeat, it unleashed the power of billions of nuclear bombs. The dinosaurs, rulers of the planet for over 150 million years, never saw it coming. This wasn't just the end of an era, it was a reset button for life itself. Today, we're going to uncover the story of the asteroid that ended the age of the dinosaurs and how its echoes still shape our world. 66 million years ago, in the age of the dinosaurs, life was thriving. Giant sauropods roamed lush plains, raptors hunted in packs, and flying reptiles soared over warm, shallow seas. Earth was a planet full of life, with climates stable enough to let ecosystems flourish for millions of years. To them, the universe seemed eternal, until one rock changed everything. Far out in the distance of space, a wandering asteroid, one today we believe likely came from the outer regions of our solar system, on the unluckiest of trajectories, crossed paths with Earth. It was about six miles wide, made of rock and metals. Small compared to a planet, but massive enough to carry unimaginable apocalyptic energy. As it hit the atmosphere, friction from the pure speed and size created a blinding light, turning night into day. Our atmosphere never stood a chance of burning up a monster asteroid of this size. Within seconds, the world below would never be the same. Earth's timeline was about to change forever. In a blink of an eye, the asteroid slammed into what is now the Yucatan Peninsula. It struck with the force of over 100 million megatons of TNT. It created a crater, 93 miles wide and 12 miles deep, ripping open the Earth's crust. Shockwaves flattened forests. Earthquakes rattled continents, setting off volcanoes and a wall of water known as a mega-tsunami. Reaching nearly three miles high, it surged across ancient oceans, destroying everything in its path. The force of the impact blasted molten rock and debris high into space. When it rained back down, the sky turned into an oven, the thick, clogged atmosphere trapping heat inside. Wildfires ignited across continents, the sky filled with choking smoke and dust. Not long after, the sunlight dimmed. Temperatures plummeted, with the average across Earth being well below freezing. This was the beginning of the impact winter, a global winter night that lasted for years. In the aftermath of the impact, Earth became almost unrecognizable. Three quarters of all species vanished in just a geological heartbeat. The mighty dinosaurs, the apex predators and colossal herbivores that had dominated the planet for over 150 million years were suddenly gone, victims of fire, famine, and a sky that refused to let in the sun. But not everything perished. As a wise man once said, life finds a way. Birds, the last living lineage of dinosaurs, clung on. Small, burrowing mammals survived by hiding underground, feeding on roots and insects. Crocodiles endured in rivers and swamps, where stable water temperatures shielded them from the worst of the climate collapse. Even tiny insects and plankton, nearly invisible compared to the giants that once roamed, managed to outlast the cataclysm. In the silence that followed, the earth slowly healed, Forests regrew, seas stabilized, and from the survivors, a new world began to take shape. Without the dinosaurs to overshadow them, mammals spread, diversified, and evolved. It was in this new age that the first building blocks of humanity's story were laid. For decades, the extinction of the dinosaurs remained a mystery. Some imagined supervolcanoes, others thought climate change or disease had swept the giants away. But in the late 20th century, 
the evidence began to point to something far more catastrophic. The true smoking gun was buried deep beneath the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, a massive 93-mile-wide scar known as the Shiksulub Crater. Hidden under layers of rock and water, it was only revealed through seismic surveys and drilling, and its age matched the extinction event with eerie precision. All across the world, geologists found another clue, a razor-thin layer of clay rich in iridium, an element rare on Earth but abundant in asteroids. This global marker, present in rocks from North America to Europe to Antarctica, captured the exact moment of impact along with shocked quartz crystals and tiny glass spheres of vaporized rock, these were the fingerprints of a cosmic disaster. Together, they told a story that left little doubt the end of the dinosaurs was written in fire from the sky. Events like Chicxulub are rare, but they are not unique. Our solar system is still filled with wandering rocks, some the size of mountains, others no larger than cars, silently orbiting around the sun. Most pose no threat, but every so often one crosses Earth's path. It's not a question of if another impact will happen, but when. Today, unlike the dinosaurs, we have knowledge. Telescopes scan the skies nightly, tracking thousands of near-Earth objects. Space agencies are building catalogs of potential threats, calculating their orbits years or even centuries ahead. In 2022, NASA's DART mission made history by deliberately striking an asteroid and altering its course, a proof of concept that in the future, humanity could defend itself from the same kind of catastrophe that once wiped out three quarters of life. The difference between the dinosaurs and us is simple. They had no warning, no defense no chance. We do. Whether we act on that advantage may determine whether Earth's story ends with us or continues far into the future. The rock that erased the dinosaurs also cleared the stage for us. What seemed like the end of the world was, in truth, the beginning of another. Without that cataclysm, there would be no humans, no history, no gaze turned upward to wonder about the cosmos. In the universe, endings are rarely final. They are the sparks of something new. It's a gentle reminder that in the cosmos, catastrophe and creation are often two sides of the same coin, as if it's almost a way to reiterate that life finds a way.